Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of March Madness. This is the series where we open a box of cards, and then we try to do what uh, seemingly is impossible sometimes, is make a profit from the cards we pull. Unless we pull a really great card, it's usually going to be a loss. We've told you that time and time again, and the, uh, the losses have piled up in some of these recent videos. We're trying to get a W today. This one is a Bowman Chrome Master Box. This came out a few months ago. And when they first came out, they were around $300 a box. Nowadays, you can get them for $250 to $275. I paid $275 for this one. So that is our break-even point here. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Bring in Garinder. So Garinder, let's see what we can do for you. The way this works is I open the box of cards. If this is your first time seeing this, for those of you following the series, this is a bit repetitive, so I apologize. But I open the box of cards. We see what's inside. And then I go and I auction and sell off all the cards, and then we see if we can make a profit. So we need to make over $275 to make a profit. At the end of the video, I'll go through card by card and tell you what everything sold for, what the total box sold for, see if we can break even or make a profit. And then at the end of the video, I'll have some slides where you'll see the total uh, for the entire series, how much we spent, how much we made, how much we lost or profited. So with Bowman Chrome, if you're unfamiliar with this, the big guy we're looking for is Christian Vaccaro. And there's also some other nice ones in here. There is going to be one autographed card per mini box. This is a mini box we're working with over here. We need a good one. Hopefully we can find a nice massive pull here. Trying to get in the win column for Garinder. All right, let's see what we've got. So Aaron Ashby and... Usually what I do is like an Aaron Ashby card, like what's that worth? Like 50 cents, quarter, whatever. These cards, I will take them and lot them up and try to, you know, make some money that way. We'll take the firsts, we'll take the um, rookie cards and kind of, you know, make little lots as we go along. There's a nice purple Aaron Ashby. It is going to be numbered out of 250. So unfortunately not a massive pool right there. We've got Nelson Velasquez first, Matt McLean first. Randy Rosarena, and there's Bo Bichette. Here comes our autograph. Nice that it's a blue numbered first Bowman card of Gavin Stone. It's numbered to 150. Not that great that it's not a position player. Usually pitcher autos don't go for all that much. He's a fifth round pick. So we'll see what we can get for that one. There's Jackson Job, nice prospect card right there. It's not a first. So those ones, I usually put them in their own lot as well. The over Piguero insert card, we've got Tyler Black Invictus. There's Dustin Harris and Yosuar Garcia. Got a Brandon Mars rookie card there, Manny Machado. Averson Artiaga, it came to the league. That's an insert card. Dominguez, looking forward to seeing if he can make it to the show anytime soon. Brandon Crawford and Jose Ramirez. There's Jihuan Bay, Eddie's Leonard, and Jordan Lawler. So right now what I've got working uh, over here, I've got, it looks like, five different lots. i got rookie cards, inserts, prospect cards that aren't first so i've got first bowmans and i've got veterans that's what i'm doing right now Garinder. i'm making little lots up as we go along to uh you know because obviously a jose ramirez base card i'm not gonna do that one by itself because there might not uh, who knows if we don't have any guardians fans there might be not, not any interest in there and it might only sell for a, maybe max of a dollar here we go with uh the next box up we'll see what we can do here for Garinder. good luck Hope we could hit a big auto here. I do like the fact that the autograph was a first numbered card. And we've got a Christian Vaccaro. Very nice right there. Let's hope that has some color on it. That would be awesome. Henry Davis, first overall pick in the draft. A couple years ago, warming Bernabel. So definitely some nice names on the backs here. There's Labor Piguero again. We already pulled his card once in this box. All right, let's see what we got. Jose Altuve, that is going to be a... Base card along with Christian Yelich. Those are going to my base veterans pile. Curtis Mead, there's your lean confidant first. That goes right into my first pile. We've got Averson Artiaga. MJ Melendez, nice, nice rookie right there. Lots of power from him. Juan Yepes and Jose Ramos. It's going to be a speckle, so a parallel. It is numbered out of 299. Jose Ramos. We've got Jonathan Mejia, and there's the Vaquero. That is the best card in the set. Unfortunately, not numbered. Spencer Torkelson, very nice. Might try that one by itself and see if we can fetch for it. Brian Stott, and here we go, folks. Shades of greatness. Great prospect right there. Luis Angel Acuna, numbered at 99. All right, Grinder. I think we may have a positive box right here. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. And I've said that before, like with five-star, we had a Bobby Witt Jr. autograph, and I thought that box would go positive, but it actually was negative. 
we may be able to uh, may, might be able to have a win on this one out of 99. That is very, very good. There's a Wander Franco rookie card right there, Corey Seager. We've got Wilmon Diaz, Trey Sweeney, along with the Henry Davis prospect card. We've got Showtime, Shohei Otani with Tatis, and a Willie Vasquez shimmer. It is not numbered, but a nice card. Zach Veen and Warming Bernabelle, some nice prospects there for the Rockies. There's Salvi Perez and Freddie Freeman. We've got James Altman, who will be in the Dodgers outfield potentially this year. Nice little insert, George Valera and Leover Piguero round out the box. All right, folks, I'm going to go upstairs. I will auction these off. I've got a veterans lot, a first Bowman lot, prospect lot, insert lot, and rookie card lot, and then some of those cards, like the Luis Angel Acuna. I'll do those individually. I'll tell you what everything goes for. Remember, we're trying to beat 275. We do this series. Uh, we've been doing it every day in March, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell. Turn that on. We do these auctions, by the way, if you're wondering, where do you sell these at? I sell them here on YouTube. They're live auctions. You can only watch them if you're there live. So if you want to check them out, we do them on Sunday nights and Thursday nights. Really important that you turn on those post notifications, that little bell, because anytime I go live, you will get a little notification via the YouTube app. A little drop-down notification will come up on your screen, on your phone, and say, Jazz will be live in 30 minutes. And then again, when we go live, to remind you. So check them out if uh, you want to check them out and see what we've got coming up. And I will be right back and we'll let you know how we did on this Bowman Chrome Master Box. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm going to predict a win here. Let's see what happens. All right, everybody. It's time to go over what we were able to get back for the cards. I, I did my best. I broke it down into some lots and did some cards individually, trying to get back as uh, close to the buy-in as possible which was, uh, what was the buy-in here again? I actually filmed this one. Oh, I, the, the first part of the video, I probably filmed that about a week or two ago. The cost of a 2022 Master Box is 275 So that is what we needed to get. And we we tried to claw, <laughs> claw and climb, whatever that phrase is. Uh, here's what we got. So I did this, the refractors, the uh, the inserts here with the Jose Ramos. It's inserts and numbered. Got $24 for this little lot here, which is okay. There's only like two numbered cards. I did all the first together. There's no big first names in there, really. Got $26 for that team bag. Next, I did all of the prospects and also the rookie cards right here. Team bag of maybe, I don't know, 20 cards. Got $22 for that. So already we're kind of, we're not gaining fast enough to uh, make up for, you know, the $275. The veterans and star lot, that went for just 15 which I guess isn't bad for a little team bag. It's not too shabby. Christian Vaccaro, he's the best... Uh, prospect in the set first bowman did that one by himself that one got 12 bucks i broke the wander franco and spencer torkelson cards out of the rookies Just trying to look for capitalizing on their popularity 15 dollars for those and then i was left with these two so i don't know i was probably at that time just a little bit over a hundred dollars i i knew that it probably wasn't going to happen i did this one by itself it's a blue team color match gavin stone it ended up selling for 20 bucks, And then the best card of the box was Luis Angel Acuna. It's numbered to 99. This one also sold for the most of the box. And, you know, didn't, uh, didn't get enough, though. It ended up going for $45. So altogether, for that box, $275 box, the return on it was $179 which means the loss was $96. So unfortunately, we got to take another L. I would love to get this series into the, uh, you know, at least into the 500 range. We are not near that yet, really. We've got to work a little harder. So we have just, uh, I don't know, what day is today? I'm filming this currently right now. I'm filming this on March the 16th after an auction. So I'll probably upload this, this on Sunday, which would be, what, the 19th? So we've got maybe like, I don't know, 12 days left in March. It'd be nice to go on a nice winning streak. But uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll continue to do this series as long as you guys keep commenting that you like it, hitting that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see all of you later in our auction tonight. Hey, we've got an auction tonight. It's Sunday night when I'll be uploading this. Make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss it. 
tap that little bell and click all. And then when I go live, YouTube will say, Jabs Family's live with an auction. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.